Greetings folks, Puma Ghostwalker here and uh, we're at a honeybee swarm and uh, the swarm actually um, has been uh, here since uh, Debbie explained to uh, us since Sunday and what I'm going to do first, they're, they're very active, I'll probably end up putting um, my suit on for this one and I know oops and I'm trying to do this and film it at the same time so so what we'll first do is we'll we'll clip some of these bits here that will be in the way sorry pardon me pardon me um, they're you know for a swarm they're quite active because you know the sex wore off you know the whole honey gorging thing is like over and I think they're really they're really anticipating and and would like to to find and be in their new home so so uh, I think the first thing to do would be to clip away some of the um, the extra uh, bits we have here to expose it I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to uh, collect these beauties yet but uh, but I did tell Debbie there'll be no extra charge for the uh, for the pruning work here or and I'm I'm actually delighted to uh, to be here and uh, and they are they are very exploratory they I wouldn't say they're aggressive to say they are in my face they're not my bees you know they don't know me and uh, so it could get a little ugly fast so I think so that I don't drop the ball or the swarm in this uh, for instance I think uh, to keep my nerve and my wits about me I think uh, I think whoops sorry about that I think we'll um, I think we're gonna wear a suit for this one but as I prune this away sorry we can get really a, a clearer look of uh, it's it's a, a typical size swarm I think about the size of a package B um, collection of about 10,000 bees. So, yeah, I'll stop this here and I'll suit up and we'll take it from there. No, no it's a, it's the Sony Cybershot. It's, it's a, so here the, the only two beekeepers on Staten Island that I know of, or that's confirmed anyways, I mean, you say that you ran into some other people, right, Debbie? But, but none are, or are actually, uh, would you say, beekeepers, right? You know, I have so much essence of bee on my suit here that they'll actually just land and swarm on me. There are people in Brooklyn. I, I had a. I had a call this morning in Manhattan for a swarm, but oh, yeah? yeah. But I told him to call Andrew Cote because uh, I didn't feel that I would be able to get to it. And then you called me, <laughs> and it's that, and just how wonderful. We got you swarm anyway. So uh, it's, it's just wonderful how things you know work out. So you said I, I could. You said that I could just prune whatever I want, right? Yep. Dad? Yep. This stuff. This stuff, I wish you would stop growing. I'm sorry? I said, this stuff can't grow slow enough for me. Oh, yeah? First. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I, you know, Puma, I'm ready to move to an arid climate with about 0.5 inches of rain. So the that 0.5? I don't have, so that I don't have to do as much yard work. The desert. That's right. I think I want a cactus garden. How cactus. fast? How yeah, fast? The how cactus fast are kind of low. Cactus are kind of low how maintenance. Fast. They're kind of slow growing. And, That's uh, what I want. A cactus garden. I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. I enjoy my beautiful garden, but when it rains, all I think about is work. Yeah. And I'm I'm getting a little. I'd rather do some other things. Uh huh. Well. I'm guessing So, so these, these are your bees. Yeah. 
right? Right, Deb? Your, your hive swarmed? Yeah. And? For sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now, this is a technique that I use sometimes. And what I'll do is uh, I'm thinking about just going. Oh, I, I do have that one I, I should flip. And kind of, I, I plan on taking the bucket and kind of, uh, I was thinking about doing a scoop underneath it. Yeah. No. That's what I tried. <laughs> and, uh, and then give it a shake. Now right. what's going to happen is a lot of the bees will, um, will fly off. Yes. But if I can get the main clump to yes. dump in, and if I could get the queen to dump in on that first shake, yes. and then I hang the bucket right they'll about in the same, back. they'll all come back, yes. and they'll all fly into the bucket, yes. and I won't have to do yes. a damn thing. What What's the chances in it? It's not very flexible, that a little stiff, that trunk, so it's hard yeah, to shake it. Yeah, I know, but that's it. why if I can get the bucket in there, and I and just... And she's usually I mean, central, I did it with right? one hand in the power wires on a ladder. She's um, usually in the center, right? I'm sorry? She's usually in the center? The queen is in the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I use that technique without a suit, balancing on a ladder with one hand and, and holding the lid in my mouth. And it was, it was actually quite comical. And I did get um, stung a bit. Sorry. Hey, you see that? Did you ever see them actually put wax on the branches like that? No, did they? Yeah. See? No. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, see? So. And oh, and all down. Yeah. How so interesting. No, 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 no. You know what that is? They're secreting wax from their heads. Uh, it's, a, it's a wax gland. So they're just, they're, yeah, it is. Well, that's just because they've been here so long. Yes. Okay. So I think. I'm so glad that we have suits on because, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Am I? Come on, please. Yeah. What about this big one? Maybe you should get that. Get I that? Have a, I have a bigger one. Look, this one right here. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay. So, I, I am I am really glad that we have our suits on for this because uh, hey, this is fun. I I never but, had but, a partner before. Yeah, you know, um, how how much better? What what better thing could you be doing on your Friday night? Oh, after a full, long day of work at climbing trees, I I couldn't imagine. Oh, so you know, you really got, you got a good position. Okay, climbing. you ready? Okay, yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right. You okay. Got it. You got it. Good. That you was did. good, right? You did it. Okay, so now... You got it. So now let's sit here. <laughs> now, would you like a cocktail? Now let's go have a cocktail. <laughs> Can't really operate the no. camera with. Can't really do much actually no. with uh with Especially gloves. When they get sticky with honey. Oh my God! I was in a I was in a hive, in a tree, um, where it was enormous. Well, we had we had clipped some of the limbs. We had shaken the bees. Then we put left it here for the bees to all settle and converge to the queen, which as the Pied Piper was calling, and the Bee Queen Pheromones were calling, as it were, um, they all flew into the bucket with the Queen. So, I think from, from now we have a few, uh, we have a few uh, scragglers, but I don't think really anything to be too concerned about. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll cover this, the rest will the rest will go to the hive that they came from, you know, after their intoxication of 
the, the honey gorging and, and all the illicit sex that happened while I was away. And uh, they'll go back to their, their original hive. And uh, I've got work to do. I need to assemble a hive box back at, uh, back at the ranch. We do have a little cluster here of bees. But we'll leave them. And uh, Debbie will let me know if uh, they've gone. If they've gone, they've obviously gone back to the hive, which is, yeah, 30 meters in front of me this way. Well, this is Puma Ghost Walker. And once again, be Wrangler, be Whisperer, be good. Have a good day.